my name is Nasrin. I am so delighted to be here for presenting another session of the road course with the name of a standardized precipitation index that it calls SPI. As you can see here, I put the number of this session as three line one. As you know, we have lots of different drought, mythological drought indices, and you know that we started a uh, mythological drought in session three. So please keep your visiting uh, for the next videos in mythological drought indices. First, we want to know about the highlights in video. We want to describe about a standardized per, uh, precipitation index, then we will focus on SPI time scales and then after SPI classification. Let's get started with the road types. Just uh, uh, take a look for review some things. In previous video, we presented the road types and we focus on different types of the roads. In this video, we want to focus in one of the most a famous drought index, a meteorological drought index, that uh, as I showed you, it is SPI and it is uh, focused by precipitation deficiency. So, if you want to know more about SPI, a standardized precipitation index, Thomas B. McKay and his colleagues at Colorado State University defined this index. And this standardized precipitation index is widely used worldwide in drought analysis. And it is known as the most straightforward index that needs mostly precipitation data. You know, uh, when uh, McKay uh, start to uh, innovate this one, this index, uh, it was developed to address some of the problems inherent in the PDSI. McKay designed this by to be a relatively simple year round index. And the SPI is a flexible and can be calculated for different time scale for monitoring the road. When I call different time scale, it means it is focused on 1, 3, 6, 12, 24, and also 48 months as input data for calculating SPI. So another thing which is important is SPI is supposed to be spatially and temporarily comparable as a really important. For more knowledge about uh, such a uh, top tip, calculation of the SPI for the specific time period for any location requires long-term monthly precipitation data for at least three years, 30 years. So it's really important to know this tip because if you have input precipitation data less than 30 years, uh, then after you can't achieve SPI more precise and exact uh, outcomes. Consider this point. Therefore, the longer data set, the more reliable the SPI values. If we want to have a reliable uh, SPI values, we should consider uh, the latest point that I showed you. Another tips about SPI classifications. When you calculate SPI, then you have SPI amounts, SPI numbers, and we have different categories of SPI. This is the main important table that you can find it in my key paper. And you can see that when SPI has uh, positive numbers, we can call it extremely wet situation or without any drought. And it is con continue up to less than, I mean that you can see that up to moderate weight, uh, wet situation. And when it is tried to be negative in the rest, you can see different kinds of drought uh, classifications. And such as near normal, which is located with minus, 99, uh, minus 0.99 up to uh, 0.99 and moderate moderate drought minus one to minus 1.49 and severe drought as you can see here and also extreme drought which is less than minus two so maybe you can see other table like this in different uh, literatures which is uh, 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 I mean the separate from zero to 0.99 as near normal and zero to a minus 0.99 as mild drought. But the first table 
it is the most important and famous table for divided different category of SPI for drought situation. You can see also probability of drought events for each category, but I will show uh, and describe more things for probability in next video. Okay. For the next video, we will focus on SPI calculation and equation. How can we calculate it and what are the most SPI strengths or maybe SPI weaknesses? And I think it is the final time of this video. And please subscribe to our channel with this address. Like and don't forget to share it. Put your comments and questions below the video it would help me to better understand what you need. Please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget it. Please share it. See you in next video. Bye.